hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going i'm going to tell you how you can use in activity indicator and how you can enable this on your services like you can show that activity indicator if you are fetching some data from the backend side in that time interval you can show that kind of indicator i hope you will like this video please watch up to the end thank you so much so guys we will create extension for that extension view controller and here we will take loader ok function loader here we will pass nothing and return type ui alert ui alert controller now let alert equals ui alert controller with title you can pass any title if you don't have title then nil and make sure both ca both things cannot be nil ok one thing can be nil either message or title here we will pass please wait and style alert ok now we will create our activity indicator let indicator equals ui activity indicator view this we will create frame so we will create frame with the help of cg react we will pass this and our x and y 0 y 0 width 30 height 30 or we can say it's a 10 of x and 5 of y and 50 width 50 height ok and else you can design according to your requirement it's just a demo and example we will return here return alert return alert ok and this we will indicator dot hides when stop true ok indicator dot is animating true now we will set this to our alert view so alert view dot view dot add sub view and here we will set this indicator this is not will this will not come here ok and in same way we will create function for stop loader here we will pass our loader this will be type of ui action sorry ui alert controller return type nothing and here we will type dispatch q dot main dot async don't forget to write this line ok this is very important self not self loader dot dismiss animated true yes completion handler nil and here also we forgot one line self dot present view controller is alert animated true and completion nil so from view controller we will call this let's say we are calling it will be loader and before loader just add self and here we will hide this after like 5 seconds ok so dispatch q dot main dot async async after deadline and it's dot now plus 5 execute here will be our it will return loader ok let 
loader equals this stop loader and we will pass loader so guys done now we will see the output i hope it should be accept accepted and as i told you add self start and now we will see so in some warning warning attempt to present on views who is not in hierarchy self dot parent dot present and here one more property indicator dot start animating and indicator dot style equals to dot large so done now start and run or oh, it's not coming because it's ui view controller why it's not happening oh self parent i think this part is coming null so let's back to your view controller from here we will it's coming because of we are calling this from a uh, view did loads okay so view did appear and this line also copy and cut here now again we will see the output that's not coming back to extension remove the present and just remove the parent and keep the present now we will see the output once again so now completely finally you can see activity indicator is working as expected and you can design as you want so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy this video please subscribe my channel because my channel contain too much videos related to swift development with the help of new technology okay like uh, apple pay advanced json parsing apple authentication completion handler too much videos so please subscribe and enjoy your coding thank you so much have a great time